First time for Cody Bellinger, and he joins us now here. Congratulations, Cody. I'd like to know what this means to you to win the Gold Glove Award. Uh, it's, it's really special. Um, I think, you know, going up through the ranks, you have a good defense, but you don't really get to, you don't get appreciated for it. And then um, I was in right field this year, and, uh, you know, I just tried to get comfortable out there as quick as I could uh, every single day. And, um, you know, I had some nice plays earlier in the year, and, I uh, just try to roll from that, um, so it feels pretty special. All right, so you, was there one play that you kind of remember? If you were to say, that's my gold glove play, which one was it? Uh, I would say it was the throw against New York yeah. uh, in right field. Uh, yeah, I just remember getting the fly ball. There was one out, and then kind of screwed it back on it a little late, and I knew I, I knew the angle to home plate was not as good as the angle to third base. I saw the throw to third you know, a lot clear. Um, that was just my decision to go to third. Uh, I just threw it, you know, as hard as I could, and JT uh, had to put the tag on really quick right. and uh, turned out to be a pretty good play. All right, so first base, center field, right field. Like, what are the challenges in kind of getting comfortable with one position, and how much of a benefit was it to play more one position than three? Uh, it helps. Uh, I think that the hardest thing from switching for me was the arm slot getting the arm slot locked mm -hmm. down. Um, other than that, I think you have enough repetition and batting practice to get comfortable out there before the game. Right. Now, we, we think about, I mean, you, you were, of course, with me at the Little League World Series, and then you graduate and all that. Do, do you think about gold gloves like you do about we're going to win a World Series, uh, we're going to maybe win an MVP? Like, where does gold glove fall into any of that? I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool to me. Um, I've always wanted the gold on my glove. Uh, people who have that, you know, I think, I mean, obviously they're really special defensively. So uh, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't uh, really happy about this. Oh, well, that, that's really cool. When you look around at the other outfielders and right fielders, do you say, well, I got to make sure I can be a little bit better than that person? And, and who are they? And what do you like about their games? I don't think you go out there trying to compete against those guys like defensively like I got I got to be better than them. I think I just try to go out there and make every single play that I could. Um, obviously with the talent out there with Harper, Yelich, Hayward, um, those, guys, those guys have done it year after year. Um, and so for me, my first year out there, I just wanted to show what I could do and, um, and I, I just try to do it well. A couple of years ago, I remember you and I would have conversations about the way that you were being used in the World Series. This was an MVP type year, let alone gold glove for you. How much work did you put in into the entire game? And, and in case of a gold glove, more so your defense. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it was a nice little wake up call for me, realizing that I wasn't as good as I thought I was. And uh, there was a lot more room to improve on. And uh, just last off season, working really hard to get back to being myself in the box and uh, not shying away from it when things aren't going your way and just sticking with your plan and your process and hoping that works. All right, so for the people that haven't gotten a gold glove yet or even some little leaguers that are watching, what are some of the things that you think you recognize in your game that could be improved on defensively that maybe some other boy or girl could work on to become the best they can be? Uh, I think most importantly is locking it in every single pitch. Um, that one time you get lazy on it, you get a bad jump on the ball and the ball's going to be in the gap or, or you, mis you misplay it. So for me, I just try to lock it in every single play. It's really hard to do. Um, but if you can do that, then your ability can take over. All right. So is this the first step, my friend? Gold glove and then postseason awards, most valuable player? Yes, that's definitely a goal. <laughs> that's coming. Hey, thanks that's very right. much. Look forward to seeing you Friday in New York. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.